So, I'm a bit disappointed and annoyed with WoW. They've been a good internet for the last two years, and now today they've become a poopy internet that I don't really like anymore. Um, somehow, my auto pay payment last month got rejected, even though the credit card that I used is still completely intact, and there is definitely tons of, like, money left on it before it hits its credit limit. Um, but the payment was somehow denied or something. So I went into auto pay and I put a new card in. Because I got something in the mail 10 days after the fact. So I fixed it. And then I thought a new payment went out because I told it to. And then I looked at my phone today. I was looking at my budgeting thing on Mint. And it's like, hey, well, I'll just charge you $109. And I'm like, what the heck is that? So I called them. And they're like, oh, well, that's your old payment uh, that didn't get whatevered, plus a $10 late fee, plus your new internet cost, which is $55 a month. So um, they're waiving the late fee. They're going to, they're gonna like, knock it off my next payment. But they just raised my internet to $55 a month from 37 out of nowhere without telling me. Which is really disappointing because last year, when the first year was up, we got a thing in the mail saying, Hey, instead of being a scumbag like every single other internet service provider, instead of raising your rates and giving you the same thing, we're going to keep your rate the same and double your speed. Actually, they raised it $10, but they doubled the speed. And if I wanted, I could have gone in and been like, Hey, give me the same speed at a lower price. So they took me from from 15 to 30 for $30. And then I have a $7 modem thing because I bought a modem once and it didn't work and I haven't bothered trying to get my own modem again so I'm still paying $7 a month to rent a modem. Which is stupid and I shouldn't be doing it but I am anyway because I don't want to have to deal with buying a modem and then having to call them to get it connected and everything again. So, but the point is, is my internet went up in price with no warning whatsoever, and I don't appreciate that. If they would have told me, hey, if you want to keep the same speed internet, it's going to cost you this much now. I would have been like, okay, that stinks, but whatever. But they didn't even tell me. They were just like, oh, here's a gigantic bill that's almost three times what your normal bill is. Uh, we're not even going to tell you why. Because if I go on the computer which is in front of me right now, it just shows $109 and then I paid it. It doesn't say what it's for or why they charge it to me. It just says that it's there and that I paid it. And I don't like that. So, WoW has definitely dropped in um, the standing with me. They're still way better than AT&T, who I used to have when I was at my dad's house. That was awful garbage all the time. Um, and I don't know about Comcast because I've never had it, but I'll never get it either because I hate Comcast because they pretty much just like buy every single company um, and have horrible customer service and everything. So they're never getting any of my money. So I'm keeping WoW, but they really need to not do what they did because I really don't appreciate it. And... It's just annoying and stupid. I do appreciate that they're taking the $10 late fee off because that wasn't my fault because there really was no late fee. I don't really understand what even happened and I don't even know if they understand what happened, but whatever. I just really didn't want my internet to cost more money, but it's been a little unreliable lately too. Like, there's times where the speed is just kind of crappy and... I don't know why that is happening either. It never used to be a problem, but if it doesn't get better, I'll have to start complaining to them the way I did to AT&T, and then they'll have to do something, or we won't be buying their internet anymore.